Hey there, it's Tom, and I am back. After having gone through the calibration process on the Matter and Form 3D scanner, that's actually what I learned that this in fact is for this card with the black and white checks, is for calibrating the scanner. And um, I had to download the software and actually had to calibrate it more than once. Um, the first time it actually failed and I checked online in the knowledge base at matterinform.net and they had uh, actually a lot of information on that and I guess it happens but the second time I calibrated it it worked and then I went and scanned a part and I've gone through the whole process and it did work there were a few settings in the software that I needed to change in order to get it to you know work exactly the way I wanted to create a um, you know a, a really fine resolution scan and in, once I made those changes and, and got it to actually turn the part much more slowly take much more finer incremental scans of it then it worked so I am right now just setting it for the um, setting it for the settings that I know worked the best and let's see I'm gonna hmm, all right just manually I'm changing some of the manual you know settings um, in order to get it to scan you know the way I want it to and then there we go. Um, I'm really reducing the amount of degrees that it actually turns to a quarter of a degree for this object that I'm going to scan. And, um, and then I'll, let's see, that's it really. Uh, save it. Uh, that didn't make sense. I didn't mean to. Alright, so now it's going to go ahead and, whoa. Actually, it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to there. I'm still learning how to use this software. But anyway, um, I hope that this is, you know, helpful and useful to you. Basically, you know, I create most of my geometry just by uh, actually creating it in CAD, original geometry. But occasionally you have something that you want to scan. And that happened to me recently. I had a part for a client that had no straight lines and hardly any reference points on it whatsoever and really that was you know an issue for me I had an awful hard time um, finding you know how am I going to create recreate this geometry because I needed to I needed to make a modification to it for a client and I needed to scan it so I thought maybe this would be a good way to go and now what I'm doing this is a sample of a hand sculpted chest piece made out of sculpting plaster, a solid block of plaster, and again, no reference point on it whatsoever. So, basically, um, that is, you know, it's a perfect type of product to use a scanner for, and then to, you know, manipulate it. And, let's see, that's it. So, now I'm going to have it scan and hopefully you can see here it's going to scan this part in multiple stages. It's flashing its lasers on the part and making, you can't even hear it, but even right now about every second it's making a quarter of a degree turn in the part and the laser, each of the two laser lights flash on it and it reads the part it'll keep doing that and then the lasers will rise up that z-axis screw and continue to scan it once you get it in the software you can you know manipulate it you can save it in multiple different formats I found there were about four or five different formats that my CAD software accepts and I even did multiple scans of an object meaning I turned it over and then scanned it upside down and you you can then I combined two different scans into one 
in order to get higher quality, make sure there were no holes or missing parts, and it worked fairly decently. I think the service quality of the scan wasn't quite as smooth as the actual part I scanned, but close enough. I mean, we're talking micron differences here, not really that significant, and it worked for my purposes. So I know I've gotten quotes for high quality resolution scans from companies for a part, and I've gotten quotes back for like $1,500 as a service for them to, you know, scan the part, clean it up, and deliver you a usable file. Um, so this scanner was about $450, and for that amount of money, for the job, I, professional job I had to do for a client, it worked, and it was worth it for what I had to do. So. Uh, anyway, my first foray into scanning, and I say so far so good. So, hopefully this is useful for you. And um, you know, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at 3dstartpoint.com, info at 3dstartpoint.com, or anywhere on social media at 3dstartpoint. Thanks very much.